is the decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. seconds and the people exploded and that is the reaction you get when you are able to put on that type of performance in front of these knowledgeable fans. Nice punch to the head. As expected an early shot and it's good. Useful early takedown. No denying he wants this fight on the ground. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Just missed with that right hand. Aldo gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Some more output, at least in the early going. there and that's really the book on this guy he is a counter striker he waits for his opponent to engage and then tries to use that aggression against them that's exactly what he was trying to do there oh nice body shot keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. keeps going back to that jab keeps throwing that jab but unable to land able to check that kick as well 
Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. The leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Allen. Well, you don't want to be fighting Jose Aldo. When this guy's on his game, when Jose Aldo's got the leg kicks going, he is hard to deal with. You know, we had never seen a guy control and dictate a fight with the leg kicks like Jose Aldo. He's doing that. He's the best in the world. That's showing against Night Neopoli. Aldo's eye is closing up. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Seconds left. Punch over the top. Punch connection by him there. He needs to get on the bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh! Man. What a start. All right, that'll do it for round one. Aldo is bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? Ready. Cool. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous fight. Yes, it wasn't a fire fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. That's great, right there. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Oh, my shot. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, 
while it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Oh, another one. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading good shots. Back to the overhand. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Just over three minutes to go. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Yeah. He can't even stand. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. What a great sequence by him mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented. Oh, oh, big diving punch to the head. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Alder. Oh, that's a pretty slick reversal right there. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and then show it in his opponent's face with all that swelling. That hook, yep. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. 20 seconds to go, round two. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, oh. Left hand. 10 minutes in the can. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. 
All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wills and goes down first. his punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has to very bad Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he went Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. He's got to be careful here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Aldo's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only gonna get worse as this fight continues. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. He passed the half guard. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. Might be a submission attempt here. Just like this, now he's chasing the drive. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It might be over. Armbar. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You have go. got the three one orb. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get a arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. Takes his back now. Another strike lands to that swollen area. The end swell would come in handy right now. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Mario Bautista! Wow, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may.